Tuesday. It is Tuesday, April 16th. Beautiful 66 degrees out here today. Blue skies, although the sky sprayers are lurking huh? and uh, beginning to funk them up. Huh? <laughs> but uh, sorry I missed the last week. I, uh, I'm trying to do every other week right now um, as the season is getting nicer out here. But last week, I was a bit under the weather. Yeah, folk. I did come out and try, but it was a no-go. So I do apologize for that. Um, anyway, the world, of course, going to hell in a hand basket quicker and quicker by the day. Please, Pittsburgh. Nothing to see here, please. As planned. And um, I'm sure we all enjoyed the newest episode of False Flag Theater in the form of light show over Israel this weekend. Which, of course, Greg Manorino called days beforehand as the market began pricing this in. Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Greg Manorino, Friday, April 12th, 2024. Pre-market report. Let's start off with this, people. I believe that a false flag attack is imminent. Um, and I mean imminent maybe this weekend here. Uh, We're we're being set up, in case you don't know, and this is the latest piece of news here. Uh, U.S. is now restricting travel for employees as uh, Israel amid fears of Iran attack. Uh, We know what's really going on here, all of us, uh, and it's just so absolutely evident. Understanding the mechanism here, that war must expand. This is designed into the current set of dynamics that are in play right now and it allows central banks to inflate more so than you can possibly imagine and uh, we got this word here from our illustrious president here that we all love so much of course Uh, we're being set up Uh, if you don't watch Greg I highly recommend watching Greg Manorino's daily video broadcasts Um, and if you can't tell Uh, It didn't seem to work. No one bought the show, and the markets are in a tailspin at the moment. Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Gregory Manorino. Wednesday, April 17, 2024, pre-market report. (laughs) Hypothetical here. Dead market goes no bid. Dead starts to sell off. No one wants this stuff. 
Fed doesn't step in, they allow the, the system to melt down, because that's what they're going to do anyway at one point. You know that. They are trying just desperately and very successfully to destroy the current system, only to issue in a new one, but they're going to make you beg for a new system as this one is collapsing. Again, look, we're going to face a credit freeze, a lockup of the system, cash isn't going to work, nothing's going to work for the pandemonium in the streets, and that's what they're leading up to. Again, so they can say, hey, you know what? We have a solution for you. They're the ones who have created this problem. You understand? And they're the ones who are going to offer a solution as well. You and I are nothing but a means to an end here, people. Okay? So either the Fed has to, again, fulfill their end game to be the, the buyer and lender of last resort, or they have to extort this out of people by creating a major false flag event. Something that way, way bigger than the big show. The big show did not work. Uh, it, it backfired, in my view, as we watched the continuation of sell-off in the debt market. It was supposed to instill enough fear in investors that they would flee to safety, safety, in the debt market, and yields would come down. It didn't work. So they need something much bigger. So people, look, <laughs> have the high ground. Be ready for what's coming here. This is going to grow and grow and grow as planned. So if you are still supporting these wars and believing these things are pure happenstance and retaliation and re-retaliation, um, then you are caught up in the movie. And as horrible as it is, it is all a distraction from the centralization that is being set up in other areas of our lives. And people do not want to admit that the power does not lie within our own governments. They choose to ignore the role the central banks play in the world as these people are the controllers of all governments and are in the process of inflating and destroying the fiat currencies. And it is a race to the bottom. Of course, the United States currency being the most targeted as they begin to transition this world into this digital era of surveillance, tracking, tracing, and denying people uh, their right to even partake in society because of their views, because of what they say, because of how they behave. If you doubt the power of the banks, uh, look at what's going on here in Canada. I can't, well, wait, I don't understand, what are you talking about? So, I will either give you a bank draft, or if you're gonna get cash, I will need an invoice for the car purchase. Why? No, I'd like to, it's for, it, the car's payments for in cash, I, I can't, I can't use a bank draft. Are you buying from like a private? Yeah, it's private. Person? It's literally from my friend. From your friend? Yeah, but he wants it in cash. Can he give you like anything, say, you're purchasing from him? No, I don't. You don't need that, I, bro. What is it? I'm only asking for three. What? What is this? I, I, it's my money. I'm allowed to withdraw from my own bank account. Yeah, so you said that. What's the maximum limit you can give a withdrawal to a customer? It's three thousand dollars on the day. You've already mentioned that multiple times. Yeah, not today. Why not today? Today I will need a bank draft. Well, works. But why? You don't. So you need proof of what it is. Why is that? And why is yes. that? Why is that? Why do you need? Why do you need me to tell you what it is? Why do you need? What kind of proof is that? I bring in a note. Like, what, how is that? What is that going to change? I don't understand. You, you need to give my money. I'm not taking a bank job. I would like cash, please. Yeah, wait. I'm just going to sit here until you give me cash. So, I'm not going to leave. Okay. You want to have a sit there? And then do what? What? Who am I waiting for? I can get the manager to talk to you. Well, yeah, get the manager because yeah, this is un like, it's unbelievable. Yeah, <laughs> that is the case. You see. The money in the bank is theirs, not ours. You put money in a bank, it becomes their money. They are then the owners and caretakers of that money. And just as this guy's saying, it's my money, I want to withdraw it. No, it isn't anymore. And this is how they're going to take most people's wealth and most people's money so that they are subjugated to the new system. So what else do we have? Oh, I saw this video from Jane Tandy the other day. And uh, if you're wondering what we're breathing, what they're spraying, and what they're doing, 
um, turn off your lights at night and record the air. And you will see this smart dust everywhere in your house, outside. Here she is demonstrating on how to see this. One thing I want to point out, even on a clear night, when you can see the stars and there are no trails and it's not white. And obviously it's worst when it worst, worse when there's a uh, fog or mist, then you can see it more. So this, you won't be able to see it quite as well, but it's always in the air. And the peculiar thing, they're not falling to the ground. That's not what the what they're doing. It's chaos. Oh, this is clear. Well, I'll take that back. Is it just me or are there things flying around? This. What? And some of them, when it's really bad, you can see the glowing orange and blue. So, whoa, what's that? Awareness, awareness is key to everything. And I am very aware of what these things are. Uh, yeah, great, right? This, of course, has been going on for years. And as you can see, can be seen if you take the time to look. So I would suggest doing what she did. Take a flashlight. Take your cell phone. Turn the lights out at night. Record inside your home. Record outside your home. You can't see it unless you are recording it. So... Check out what you're breathing. They are preparing the way and have been for years. And of course they are preparing us in many other ways too, subconsciously, psychologically. Uh, now they have things like this hand waving um, that is locking food behind locked refrigerators and, and windows that in order to open it, you need to wave your hand in front of the door. Can somebody enlighten me on what's going on here? In Walgreens, there are these coolers and this is where our drinks used to, you know, we could just open it up and grab. Now it's kind of like all cartooned all the way down. So if you look here, then I'm looking here and there's a sensor there and a sensor there. It says, wave your hand voice assistant coming soon okay pretty soon these doors aren't going to be opening really thick actually but this is where the food is so what do you think this means for us as people of the united states of america what does it mean hmm? wave your hand look at that why would that be on a door just to get drinks just saying and it's all the way down. Watch your money. Watch your hand. Because pretty soon they're going to make us chip it. That's all. Now, of course, there's no reason for that. It doesn't make it easier. Waving your hand in front of the door is not easier than pulling the door open. But they are preparing people for this hand-waving microchip um, era in which many people will be locked out of the system because they dare speak their mind or their actions in the world dare do not conform 
to what the almighty authority government, centralized government wants. And uh, the reality is, if people don't start to notice this shit and stop with the nana nana poo poos, nana nana poo poo, and the divide and rule, and the back and forth, and the left and right, uh, they're gonna fall right into this. This shit's being put together right under our noses. He ain't lying. All right, what else is going on? Ah, if you want another example of how much our government loves us, after the Texas fires, after they burned out all the farms and grazing areas for the cattle and everything else down there, they are apparently destroying parts of the land that survived that horrific event. I wanted to update y'all on what's going on in Texas. We have over a million acres of farmland that has been burned and ruined. And not only that, we have Texas Forest Service that is going into these ranchers' properties and dozing up the land. They're not even dozing the burned areas. They're ruining the remaining feed and grasses that they do have. And we don't know why they're doing this. So let me know what y'all think about this in the comments. Make sure to share this around. We need to stand up for what's right. And remember, guys, buy American and buy local. Yeah! And you know what? It's because they love us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. This apocalypse. What a joke. But again, it is the apocalypse. The great reveal. The revealing of truth. Everything is in front of us to be seen. It's whether or not you choose to see it. And then, what you choose to do about it. That's going to make the difference in which way this goes. Whether tyrannical hell or actual freedom for the first time in all of the existence of humanity on this planet. So, anyway, I think I will leave it there for the week. As always, I hope all is well. And uh, we will see you on the next one. Get learning. Get speaking.